Hi, I'm Luke Edwards from Korg UK here with Absolute Music today. And um, we're gonna be having a look at the King Korg. So let's have a listen and I'll take you through it. Okay, so the King Korg is our brand new analog modeling synth. Things that are great are, first of all, we've got this tube inside, so we can just warm up the sound for that nice analog feel, or really drive it if we want some heavy overdrive or distortion. We've modeled lots of classic filters in there, including our own and some other manufacturers. Connectivity-wise, it's great. We've got CV and gate to connect to analog gear. We've got MIDI, of course, and USB for computer users as well. And what's great about it is the layout. So in the middle, you've got your screen to select your sounds. You've also got dedicated sections for your oscillator with a screen and the filter also with a screen, your LFOs and envelopes at the, the right hand side. And then over on the left, we've got a dedicated effects section with three insert effects and also um, a dedicated EQ section and of course the tube. So um, let's have a listen to a few of the different sounds. First of all, um, we're going to listen to some of the different filters. So this is King Korg's own filter. What really strikes you with the King Korg is how smooth the filters are as well. So I can take this um, filter uh, modeling the Moog actually, and I can change the cutoff and just give you a listen. So it steps through the filter nice and smooth. Other filters we've modelled include Profit 5 for that kind of brighter sound. And of course the Oberheim as well. And also our um, very famous MS-20, which we've just reissued in mini form as well. Also another filter we've uh, modeled called Acid, which is based on the Roland TB303. Over on the right side here, we can, if we want to, add some motion to the sound by uh, way of the LFOs. So we've got the frequency and the intensity knob here. So if we've got this quite uh, nice static pad, for instance. We can quite easily add some motion to that. I'm actually selecting my sounds via these buttons at the bottom. I'm using favorites. You can store five banks of eight, that's 40 favorites in there. If you don't want to use your favorites, you can just select program and then search by category very easily as well. So you have the choice of the way that you want to navigate your sounds. 
Over on the left side here, as I said before, we have our effects. So we have three insert effects, pre-effects, mod effects, and reverb and delay. They all have different variations that I can pick, and they all have their dedicated controls and the parameter controls underneath. So for instance, if I want some reverb and delay, I can select it here. If I want to turn off the effect, I just press the knob and then the delay disappears. So a big part of the King Korg is the quality of the sound and also the ease of use as well. If I want to insert an effect myself, I can just select my sound. Select what effect I want, say it's distortion in this case. Swing it around to distortion and I can affect the amount of drive I want. And of course, we've got the tube as well. So that can be used to warm up the sound, given that not as analog kind of warmth, warmth. And, or I can boost it and then really drive it hard to give this kind of heavily overdriven uh, gritty sound. <laughs> So you have a lot of scope there, going from very warm pads to, to kind of in-your-face sounds like that. Back to the right side, we've also got the EG section, which stands for Envelope Generator. From there, we can affect the ADSR, the attack, decay, sustain, and release of the sound. And we've got different destinations. So in this case, it's set to filter. So I, if I want to, I can select um, the attack to be a set amount for the filter, so to open when I want it to open, like this. Try that again. So that's a, the attack is quite uh, low there. So, but I can change that. Really and get the sound to develop over time. In the King Korg, we have a structure where we've got three oscillators. And then we've got two what we call timbres as well. So in, in total, you can actually have up to six sounds um, layered or split. And each oscillator can be a different type of synthesis. So it could be an analog waveform. It could be a DWGS, which is a, 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 a wave, some of the waveforms taken from the DW8000, the Korg DW8000. It could be PCM, sample based, or it could be the mic input. So you can use the vocoder. So it's very flexible and literally hundreds of waveforms there to choose from. Um, using the two timbres can be really useful for sound design. For instance, here we've got timbre A. Using the joystick, I can bring in timbre B as well. and then pull the joystick back and it'll give me filter and reverb. So I've got a lot of control and assignable controls via this uh, pitch bend mod wheel as well, should I need it. You can also use these timbres in different ways. So for instance, we can split the keyboard in half or wherever we want it and then have say a nice pad and a lead. That makes the King Core great for performance as well because we've got 61 keys. Um, as a second keyboard, it makes it ultra flexible because you can actually have two different sounds split on the keyboard as well, all layered as we heard. Of course, we've got an arpeggiator built in as well. So we can make patterns and control them here. So 
So that's using the arpeggiator in a quite a basic way. You can also use it for different timbres. So for instance, you could have it assigned to timbre A, B, or both. So what I've got here is a split keyboard. The arpeggiator is assigned to the upper part, uh, timbre B, and timbre A is not being affected. So you can use it that way as well. You've also got a step arpeggiator in here as well, and you can access that by just holding down shift and arpeggio, page through to the, the relevant page, and then I can see all the different steps, and I can go in and say, okay, I wanna take out a couple of steps to give it that kind of syncopated feel. So King Korg's not just all about analog model sounds, it's got some great PCM or sample based sounds in there as well. Things like pianos, roads, strings, choirs, great for gigging. Let's have a listen to a few of those. Piano first of all. Stuff like organs as well, really strong, including our classic M1 organ. There's also some great Mellotron sounds in there as well, strings, and check out this flute as well. So that's what the King Korg is all about. Classic analog modeling synth. It's called the King Korg because we think it's one of the best synths we've ever made sound wise. And of course it's our flagship synth now. So it's right at the top of the range. Um, you've also got the tube of course in there, which um, is a real analog tube. So it gives you that real warmth or distorted overdrive if you want it. And very easy to use, dedicated displays for the oscillator, filter, all those classic filter models as well and also great connectivity. So CV and gate to connect to analog equipment, MIDI and USB to connect to the computer. So go and check one out. Thanks for listening.